It's here, it's here, it's here. Let me get a knife. All right. Now, the other day we had that power outage. I, I was deficient in a couple of areas that I never thought of. Well, I did think of, but I didn't do anything about. Uh, we lost all cell service and we lost all internet and cable. So we really had no access and no information from the outside world. And it was sort of like, you know, I had air conditioning and I had lights. So I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I felt information wise that we're out of touch like you would be in the 1800s, you know? And uh, so uh, I had a little radio and it was absolutely worthless. And you know, it was a uh, Sanjian, which is supposed to be a good name, but it wasn't. So I did a bunch of reading. Oh, let me back up a little bit. So. Uh, Beverly had a uh, terrestrial antenna and she gave it to me because she's had a couple and I put it on my TV and sure enough uh, I uh, picked up 20 channels and I could pick up our local weather which here's the thing we had more storms coming through after the tornado and I did not know how bad they were going to be and what to expect and uh, okay this is the uh, sea crane pocket radio AMFN weather radio see that's what I really need was weather uh, and that's what I didn't have and I told myself I am gonna fix that because that little radio that I had had AMFM shortwave and you couldn't pick nothing up it was I mean I picked up one local AM station and uh, it's not even local what they have is talk radio on and who knows where the talk radio comes from. All right, what this is, is an antenna for the FM. My hands are shaking so bad. I don't know why my hands are shaking, they just are. There's a little instruction manual. I'll throw that away right now. <laughs> comes with some headphones. This is the FM antenna. I don't have any batteries in it yet, of course, I just got it, but uh, I'm just doing a preliminary show and tell. Yeah, it takes two double A's. Nice little radio. You want to use FM, you plug this antenna in right here, and uh, comes with some earbuds, which I probably won't use, but all right, uh, I'm going to be... Once I figure out, I mean, these uh, five buttons, it's got like a 25 AM presets and 25 FM presets. Uh, it's put a switch, there's a switch here for speaker or headphones. Uh, here's the band channel over here. This is the up and down. And from what I understand, you can tune this either one kilohertz at, or maybe it's 10. I think it's, one kilohertz at a time or 10 kilohertz at a time because sometimes AM channels come in a little bit better if you're one or two kilohertz off to the left or right. So, uh, and it has scan and all that and it has weather and has uh, five or six, I can't remember, weather channels on it. So that's all I need. All right, uh, when I get this figured out, I'm gonna do a little review and show and tell on it and uh, we'll see. All right. This is, uh, I don't want to get gigged for music. 102.1 is Grambling University. It's a jazz station that uh, I could barely pick up when I lived in Sibley. I could barely pick it up. And uh, I used to listen to it in my shop because it's not always, and most of the time it's what they call smooth jazz. And uh, I used to listen to that in my shop just because it was peaceful. So right now I just Googled it from my location to Grambling University is 85 miles. And that's, I just went through uh, the FM. I'm fixing to go through the AM dial here in just a second. I have found more channels than I ever knew existed on the FM dial. And some of them I'd never heard of. Most of them I'd never heard of before. All right, let me go to AM. Partly cloudy. There we go. That's what I want. Lows in the upper 70s. Heat index values up to 105 early in the evening. Friday. Partly cloudy. Hot with highs around 100. Heat index values up.
up to 110. Good God. This is your NOAA weather radio. Station it's full of good news, huh? 97 operating on a frequency. Okay, um, I just went through the AM bands. I was only able to pick up three channels, but I scrolled through automatically. It did auto-tune, and it only stopped on the channels with a big signal. Uh, I am going to take this off of auto-tune and scan it myself 10 kilohertz at a time. But uh, I'm going to wait till nightfall because nighttime you can really pick up all kinds of stations. Now, I picked up 71 kilo here, clear as a bell which is a Shreveport radio station. And uh, that's what I need, because that's the one. And there's a country station on here too that they give local news, so. All right, I'm happy with this, and I'll show you a little more as I learn a little more. Index values up to 105 early in the evening. Saturday, partly cloudy. Hot with highs around 100. Heat index values up to 110. Saturday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then mostly cloudy with a slight chance of showers after midnight. And so he wound, and he got out early on good behavior, but he, he wound up spending about four years in a maximum security uh, penitentiary in Jakarta. Um, and...
Yeah. Hold on, man. This station right here, this is Grambling. That is 85 miles from here. And, uh, pretty good signal. Well, I'm impressed. This little radio here, I get two AM stations on this, and that's it, and just a handful of FM, and nothing on shortwave. That was a complete waste of money there. Grundig, I thought it was Sanjian, but it's Grundig, and Grundig is usually a pretty good radio. All right, I'm happy with it. This is uh, pretty much all we got left in Bev's yard. All right, first tomatoes of the season. I would have had one a couple days ago, but a raccoon got it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, I love tomatoes. So tell me how they taste. Mmm. There is nothing as good as a homegrown tomato.